All right, the CrossFit Games is in less than a week and I have finally decided what I am going to be doing for the games. So if you're new here, I was at the CrossFit Games last year with a media pass and I made a vlog every day about my experience at the games, just covering some of what was going on as well as some, you know, behind the scenes of what it's like to attend the CrossFit Games. Obviously, I was in a bit of a hole on Wednesday. Roman Krennikov came up to me and uh, shook my hand. He just looked me dead in the eye and he said, hard. I did something similar for the North America West semifinals, which was at the end of May, so just about two months ago, vlog every day. And that was an easy thing to get to because it's in Pasadena. I live in Northern California. It was just a drive. That was doable, right? The Games is in Madison, and this is not the first year to Madison, obviously, and I have been to it in Madison, but it is hard to get to and very expensive. So I was unsure if I was going to make the trip because Pasadena was still expensive for a hotel and gas and all of that. And then I also went to Hawaii just a few days ago for my 30th birthday, which happened to be right before the games. So I was debating whether to go to the games this year. So even more background, I have been to the CrossFit Games quite a lot. My first games that I attended was in 2014. I had only been CrossFitting for, I think, less than a month. I was really excited about it. My boyfriend at the time lived in the LA area. I had planned to be there the same week as the games. And it was actually my birthday. When the games were in Carson, it usually fell over my birthday at the end of July. So he took me to the CrossFit Games for my birthday because he said, you know, you're really into this now. Let's go check out this weird competition that happened to be the CrossFit Games and Rich Froning's last year competing as an individual. So pretty cool thing to go to. Went again in 15, 16, um, 17, 18. I volunteered in 2018 when it was in Madison. And then I skipped 2019, then missed 2020 because of the pandemic. Went back in 2021 as a volunteer and then went last year in 2022 to do my own media stuff because I had started my YouTube channel, which I'm so happy you're all here to watch. So <laughs> this year with all my other financial stressors, I was just unsure if it made sense to go to the games. But <laughs> I ended up deciding to spend the money to go to the CrossFit Games and I will be there for all of the individual events or at least most of them. I get there Thursday morning, but I'll be there for the individual days, which are Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm leaving Sunday night, so I'm going to miss a lot of the uh, age group stuff and the different um, adaptive groups, but I will get to be there for all the individual athletes. So I do plan to bring you a vlog every day, just like I have in the past. And hopefully what's going to help make this trip a little bit more economically feasible. Definitely was not the plane ticket because those were so expensive. It is so hard to get to Madison. I like Madison as a city for the games better than Carson and the LA area overall. But when it comes to flights and hotels, it is worse <laughs> because the hotels are very expensive over the games because people have to stay there. There's, it's not a huge area like LA. There's only so many hotels and this event kind of takes over all of Madison. So hotels get expensive and the flights are expensive. It's very difficult, impossible from where I live in the Bay Area to fly direct to Madison. So it's just expensive and complicated, but the city of Madison puts on a great event. It works very well for CrossFit. I think being in a smaller city is actually better than being in a big market like LA, but from cost of flying and cost of getting hotels, it is, uh, it's not better. So this year I will be staying in the RV park with a lot of people who are gonna be out there. There's a lot of cool people that are usually out there. I am staying um, in an RV with the owner of my gym, one of his RVs that he's bringing. 
and his name is Craig Howard. His wife is competing at the game, so they're bringing a ton of stuff. That way she can feel comfortable. She is in the age group. She's in the 60 to 64 age group. This is her second year in that age group, so it's gonna be pretty cool to see her. I'm only gonna be able to see her on Thursday because I'm not gonna be there the first two days of the age groups, but it'll be cool to see her on the final day at least and uh, get to see all the individuals and bring you all of that content. And I probably will do a little bit of the Masters on Thursday. That video will come out Friday morning, I believe. So keep an eye out for that. But staying in the RV park is going to allow me to save a ton of money on Uber Inc. Because I'm not renting a car. It's very hard to even find a car at this point. And I had to, in the past, Uber back and forth from my hotel to go to the event. Staying in the RV park means I'm going to be walking distance from the event. So hopefully it'll help with the cost a little bit. But I am super excited to bring you content. I am so glad I decided to go because I know from past experience, skipping in 2019, I regretted it. And then there was this, you know, 2020 stuff that stopped me from going in 2020. So it ended up being a two year hiatus when I uh, had no intention of that. So I am excited to be going again, to get to vlog all of it again. I do have a media credential again. So everyday content is the plan. If you haven't seen my content from last year's game, I will link it up here and I will put it in the description. I'll also put the content from semifinals, just in case you're curious about that. Those should look similar to what you're going to see here for the games. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe for all of that because I will be trying to put out a video each day. Not Thursday because I get there Thursday, but it would be like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday of games. So make sure you subscribe, check those out, watch those videos if you can, because that helps me make a little bit of money off of YouTube AdSense to help pay for this trip. So if you want to help out, that is the best way to do it. Watch the videos twice if you can and watch it all the way through and then leave a comment or, you know, like it helps the YouTube algorithm. So more people see my videos and I can afford to go back in 2024, hopefully. But I'm also excited about the RV content because that is an angle of my vlogs that I've never done before. It's an angle of the games I've never done before. As many times as I've been to the CrossFit games, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22. This will be my eighth, ninth CrossFit Games. Wow. Um, and I've never done the RV stuff. So that'll be a pretty cool, different perspective on it. So if you're going to the CrossFit Games, please come up and say hi. I love meeting all of you. I met so many of you at semifinals, some of you at the games last year. So come up, say hi. I appreciate you all for watching my content and also just saying hi and getting to know all of you. I will also, like I said, be at the RV park and I believe my gym's programmer, Jamie Lee, is going to be there. Well, I know that. He is going to be there. I believe they're doing workouts though in the RV camp, like a workout of the day. There's gonna be a rig set up by my gym and stuff like that. PRs all day is what it's called. So if you see that, you might be able to come over and get a workout in. Hopefully I can get some workouts in. I haven't the last couple years because of just how much running around I'm doing. Always get my steps in, but haven't had the opportunity to really get workouts in while I'm there. So maybe since it'll be so close and I'll be staying right there, maybe I'll get a couple workouts in. One would be great and a huge improvement but you can come out to the RV site. You could find us there. Come say hi. Um, do a workout if there's available. And uh, say hi at the games. Let me know if there's any specific content you want to see. I can try to do that. The games are a little different than semifinals. The semifinal content, if you haven't seen it, if you watch it, like I said, linked below. I got to interview a lot of the athletes last year, unless this is different this year. It wasn't quite as accessible at the games as it was at semifinals. I'm going to guess that's going to be the case again, that it's going to be a little harder to grab the athletes for interviews like that. Might still get some, we'll see. There is a press conference every evening with athletes in it. So that I hope to get in my videos each day, but the actual like individual interviews, not sure if we'll have quite as many of those. So if that's something you wanna see, just a heads up, you might see a little bit less of that compared to the semifinals content, but we do get that press conference every day where they have athletes that answer questions there. So 
you'll you'll get that and that's pretty cool too and you don't have that at semifinals it's a little bit of a different event but like i said if there's something you want to see let me know in the comments below like this video if you had a good time i appreciate you all for watching i'm really excited for the content that i have coming at the games it's going to be a great time going to the crossfit games for me is like camp basically it's like you see all these people that you only get to see one sometimes twice. If you go to semifinals, you kind of see them twice. But once a year and catch up, it's, uh, it's a time for no sleeping between editing videos and seeing people and watching the event. But it is a time for a lot of fun community stuff, which is part of what CrossFit is all about and part of what I love about it. So I am excited. I hope you're excited too. And I hope you'll watch the videos because I put a lot of work into these and it's fun for me but it's even better when I hear all of you enjoy it too. So I'll see you in the next one. Games will be very, very soon. Carson just came back from boarding um, while I was in Hawaii and I had to give him a bath because he was a very dirty boy and he is uh, still a little mad at me. But you're cleaned. You're clean, buddy. Okay, bye.